Hey, it's Claude Johnson from GuitarControl.com. So what we're going to do today is take a look at a Green Day song called Time of Your Life. So first, I'm just going to show you a couple things that I haven't gone over uh, in any of my previous online videos. And then we'll look at the whole song in the second part. So the first thing is I want to show you a new chord, which is C add 9. Okay, so it sounds like this. Very beautiful chord. So it's not one of the basic chords, uh, but it's actually not that hard to finger, okay? It's actually probably easier physically than the regular C. So let me uh, give you the fingering, and then I'll give you the theory behind it. I've got my middle finger on the third fret of the A string. First finger on the second fret of the D string. We have the G string played open. And then ring finger on the third fret of the B string. So we have. Okay? So it's almost like a C chord. So listen. That's your C, and then C add 9. It's just that one note at the end which is different. So that gives a little bit more complex character because we're using four different notes instead of three different notes in a C major. So just to give you a little bit of the theory, a major chord um, is going to have root major third and fifth degree, which is based off the major scale, which I'm not going to go into uh, right now, but as you learn more about this stuff, it'll become very clear. Okay, so when I play this, what I'm really playing is root, major third, fifth, and then the octave. Or if I name the notes, it's C, E, G, and then C again. C, E, G, C. Well, with the C add 9, it's uh, C, E, G, D. Or root, major third, fifth, ninth. So why do they call it a ninth? Well, if you count up the major scale, you know, C major scale. So if you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's a D, okay? And same with the other degrees, like why do they call it the third? Three notes. One, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five. So C, D, E, F, G. There's your C, E, G. Okay? I'll go over this a little bit deeper in, in another video, but for right now, I just, just learned this C add 9 chord, okay? Now, the other thing uh, is the strumming pattern that I want you to, know, uh, want you to learn, which it starts on the G chord, but let's just focus on the strumming, so it's like... And by the way, this is kind of like uh, just the, the rhythm of the song if I were to strum it. In the actual song, they're doing some, some finger picking, you know, that kind of thing. But when we're trying to learn a song in a, you know, an easy way to learn it, we can kind of ignore that and just, just do strums. It's a lot faster and you can learn a lot more songs without worrying too much about the details. It's kind of like the 80-20 rule. You know, what's the 20% uh, the of the effort that's going to give you 80% of the results? Well, that's just learning the basic chords and the basic strums. So here's your basic strum. All right? So if we slow that down, and there's, there's always two ways to learn a strum pattern. One is just to listen 
and play with your ear. It's probably the easiest way for most people. Let me go even slower. So if you have your guitar handy, you can strum along with me. up a little bit. And let's uh, go even faster. Okay. Okay, so I said there was two ways and I just showed you the first one which is just listen and, and mimic, you know, follow along. The other way is to count it out. So, some people like to learn this way. Um, so this strum, if I were to count it, would sound like one, two, and, and four, and, okay? So how did I get that? It's like, if you count one, two, three, four, Okay, so get that first. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And by the way, this is a great exercise for beginners. Just learn to do that, okay? Now, the next step, we're going to count the ands. So one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. So now, what we're going to do, we'll skip the and on the one. We'll just do one, two, and three, and four and. One, two, and three, and four and. One, two, and three, and four and. Now let's do this. One, two, and, and four and. One, two, and, and four and. One, two, and. So we're doing the one and so that one two and gets stretched out one two and so we don't even say the three so it's like one two and okay and and then we'll say the and of the third beat so one two and and four and so instead of one two three and four and one two three and four and one two and and four and one two and and four and so that's what that's how you can count it out if you wanted to you know, if you're one of those people that wants everything precise and like I don't want to forget or if I want to write that down, you know, because it's very easy to sit here and just, you know, copy what I'm doing. But then, you know, when you walk away from from uh, this video and then a couple hours later you're like, what was that rhythm? So if you have it written out, you can say, okay, that's one, two, and, and four, and, okay? And if that doesn't make sense, Hopefully, uh, when you start practicing, it will. Okay, so. Okay, so now that you have the uh, the C add nine chord and the strum pattern, uh, let's go on to part two, where I'll show you how this all ties together.